I'm out for a walk because I was starting to feel the stress this morning. The stress of overwhelm, the stress of all of my ideas coming to the fore of my forehead. I wonder if that's where the idea of forehead comes from. Um, I know it doesn't, but you know, I, I, I had a really great sleep. I've had three nights of tremendous sleeps in a row. Um, enjoyed the weekend off for the most part. It was Canada Day. I noted my thoughts before going to bed last night and I know what I need to accomplish today. A lot of it is around contacting, inviting for um, the Flex Your Mind group project that I'm working on and just some other business building things and I don't know why I just started to feel that overwhelm. I'm just chalking it up to it happens sometimes. We all feel this. You know, at least I did my morning routine, which I've settled on for almost a week now, which is, you know, get up and, and journal, hand journal. I have a couple of beautiful fountain pens. I have like a $30 hardbound journal, beautiful paper. It really makes a difference to be able to commit to something of that quality. And when I have that in mind, then I think about taking the time to actually process my thoughts and put down something that means something to me. It doesn't always have to be brilliant. Sometimes it's a half a page, sometimes it's four pages of ideas that, that just flow out of my mind. Maybe it was because after I did that and I checked in on my emails, I started to read some news of the world and it's discouraging and unsettling and the news of the world right now is connecting what I'm realizing as a really big vision of myself. But this why showed up in my life a few days ago and in reading the news and looking at some of this, I was feeling this helplessness like a lot of other people. Like how do I, how do, I do something about this information? How do I do something about Donald Trump? How do I do something about the top 1%? How do I do something about our environment? Like I'm only one person but it is stressing me out. <laughs> the solution is not going for a walk to solve all of these problems, but I knew I had to go for a walk to clear my mind to figure out what steps can I take. Now, a coach that I'm working with right now, I want to call him a bit of a mentor because he's becoming that. He keeps asking the question when something really emotional or emotionally challenging come up, comes up, what would love do? And there's a part of me that's like, oh, fuck off, you know. That part of me is diminishing with time because I realize that is probably the most important question I can ask myself because what would love do allows me to stop get really in tune with who I am, what I'm passionate about, what's my why, what means most to me. And when I can connect with then what I love, what means most to me, I can make some pretty strong foundational decisions. And I've got a dump truck coming up behind me. Um, as I was thinking that through, I thought about Christian and I thought about how cute he's been in the last couple of weeks. It's just been showing up, no reason, but affectionate and physically amorous and public and just loving. And I know that's because he's so much happier with things he's doing in his life around work and career, but it's fulfilling to me. and. Not that I didn't feel loved, far be it. But it put a smile on my face and then that connected with what would love do? Well, I want to do things in my life that are going to support the love that I have for Christian, the love that we have for each other. And that, that just connected me to a quote from Dr. Seuss and I'll overlay it here, but it's about we find that person who's weird and we connect with their weirdness and then we do this thing called love. I'm bastardizing that quote, but 
we're both fucking weird. And I came upon this quote, whether it's from Dr. Seuss or not, from a friend of ours who used it at his wedding. And it just, it just resonated. It just spoke to the both of us. Like, why are we connected? Why the two of us? Why are we so different? Why do we support each other so well? Why is it that we get each other, yet a lot of other people don't? Who the fuck cares? But what would love do? Love would do something that would support my relationship, our relationship. Love would do what would take care of us. And what would take care of us is one step towards my bigger mission, taking care of the world, the climate, other people's happiness, helping people reconnect with what's most meaningful to them in mind and body so that they can do really great things and actually have an impact and make an improvement in the world. Because we're at a place right now in humanity where it is fucking scary, but we can go and hide and cower and be ashamed and be afraid and think that we have no power or we can connect with other people and talk about what are these things we would like to see in the world change and it isn't about revolution it isn't about taking up arms it is about dissolution and dissolving the base of what has become quite corrupt in that top one percent i don't have all the answers I'm just starting to learn about some of these ideas myself. But that's about all I have that I can explain with any sense of clarity at the moment.